According to Stanley Kubrick, 2001 was supposed to be a space odyssey. Little did he know what would really occur. We all survived the Y2K issue with no side effects. Bud would be named Port Leader of the Year in 2001. Norm would become CEO and Bud would move up to president. Bud and I formed a great partnership that lasted 30 years and dad let us grow the company like mad. Then the unthinkable occurred on 9-11, changing many aspects of port security and port operations. The company went on with their 80th anniversary celebration. Andy would join his cousin Sean as a company vice president. I came in July 1st, 1996, so this will be my 25th anniversary this summer. Uh, fortunately, I was promoted to vice president in 2003, and it's been just hard work ever you know, the whole time <laughs> since I was 13 till, till today. Bud and Norm continued their expansion plans and found a way to turn disaster into more Ruckert luck. We started seeing shifting in the ground, a lateral failure of the soil on the pier. Uh, we monitored it for several years. We repaved, regraded, had uh, some very, uh, smart soil engineers come in and look at things and no one could put their finger on it but finally it got to the point where I convinced Norm Ruckert to uh, condemn the pier and I believe it was about a month or two later it collapsed. Good news is no one was injured and we did lose a section of the pier about 150 200 foot long section of the pier but uh, now I think we're a much better bigger, better terminal than before with the new pier. We went from about a 550 foot long marginal wharf with a max draft of 32 feet to a 950 foot long pier where we could accommodate probably a 1200 foot long ship with the overhang on each end and a 52 foot draft. So it really moved us forward. The piece de resistance on top of the B-Birth renovation and rebuild was the addition of another new game-changing crane. One of the more interesting projects that we did over the years was unloading our Lieber Mobile Harbor crane, a 500S model. So I was fortunate enough to actually go to Germany and inspect the crane before we bought it. And then it was put on a ship, loaded out of Rostock, Germany, and came right to B-Birth behind me. Typically, Lieber told us that it would take two to three days to unload it. We did it in a day and a half. And then we actually assembled the crane on site right here. So it's been a wonderful addition to our arsenal of uh, equipment here. Ruckert would celebrate their new improved B-Birth and putting the largest bulk crane on the East Coast into service. Ruckert would end the first decade of the 21st century as a leader on the East Coast in handling bulk and break bulk cargo. What I like best about it is no day is the same. You never know what you're coming into. Or a phone call in the middle of the night or during the weekend. Um, the gratification that goes with that is, you know, having happy, successful employees that can afford to, you know, raise a family that will work here for 20 or 30 years. and. Um, meeting their families at our company picnic and just getting to know them and um, you know we really make it a family business. We had a heck of a head start and for yeah. two generations and we we sure left uh, we sure given our boys a heck of a head start too. I feel proud of everything that's been built here and proud of the employees because you're only as good as the people you work with. You know we've always said surround yourself with good people and that's really one of the keys to our success.